What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so I believe it was sometime last year, I did review the Microsoft Surface headphones, their first version of those, and I'll put that YouTube card right there. I like those, but I didn't love them. I did like the fact about how soft they were and how modern they look, and there were no visible screws or anything sticking out. It was a very seamless and well put together product, but I didn't like the fact that they were at a $350 price point and the battery life was not that great. But I did think they did a really good job of marrying touch control surfaces with physical buttons or physical dials to be exact. And they have transferred that technology over to these, which are the Microsoft Surface Headphones version 2. I see some love. It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. Going around this box on the back side. It really doesn't have any specs because I do believe that all those specs and everything you can find out on the website or in the app, which I will get to later. But on the back side, it does say a perfect balance of sound and silence. Surround yourself with spectacular omnisonic sound. Stay focused with adjustable noise cancellation and be heard with exceptional clarity on calls designed for comfort and control. Lightweight and comfortable with intuitive touch and voice controls, plus on-ear dials for volume and noise cancellation. And if you have seen any of my previous earbud headphones, phone videos you know that I'm not the biggest fan of touch controls. I do believe that Microsoft has done the perfect combination with having the touch services and then the physical ear dials as well. These are going on sale right now for $250 as opposed to the first version, which dropped at $350. So that is a hundred dollar drop in price. And you do get a little bit better features with these. You also get a longer battery life. The battery life on these is up to 20 hours. And then this does have a USB type C port on here, which enables quick charge. So if you want to complete charge these up it will take a little less than two hours and with quick charge a five to ten minute charge will give you a couple more hours of additional battery life if you're in a pinch so with that being said now let's open these up and see exactly what we get on the inside of this box Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I continue this video, I just want to send a huge shout out to TechScore for sponsoring this video. I know you're thinking to yourself, hey Nicholas, what is TechScore? Well, I'm glad you asked. TechScore is a site that rewards you for buying the tech that you were already going to buy anyways by earning cash back points that can be redeemed for gift cards and daily prizes. Okay, so now at this point you're thinking like, hmm, you're kind of interested, but you will probably want to know what kind of merchants that they're dealing with. And I'm glad that you're wondering that. TechScore has partnered with some of the biggest and most trusted merchants out there. You got merchants like Walmart, Amazon, AliExpress, Microsoft, DJI, just to name a few. So like I said earlier, people, if you're going to be buying tech or if you buy as much tech as I do, you might as well get rewarded for it. And also one more thing, if you do decide to use the link in the description down below to sign up for TechScore, go ahead and let them know that Tech Love TV sent you. So that's a win-win for both of us and we both can make money back together. So at the end of the day, everyone wins. Once again, huge shout out to TechScore for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. Okay, so these headphones are available in two different colors. You do have your matte black version, which is the newest color that's been added with this version of headphones. And it's also available in the light gray. So on the inside of this traveling case right here, very slim, you do have a card which tells you about the different dials. The left one is for noise cancellation. The right one is for volume control. You also have your USB type C charging. And then you also have a headphone cable, a 3.5 millimeter headphone cable. Before I get into these headphones, let me see what else is inside of this box. Underneath the case, what you will get, it looks like just a bunch of literature. And then underneath this, oh, that's it. There's nothing else underneath that. And so this case right here, it is, um, it is a hard case. It is a canvas-like material and you do get the Microsoft logo on the front side. Very nice and slim case and you also have a tab on the top right here. You want to hook it to your bag with like a carabiner. The first thing that I noticed, they did follow the design and they seem pretty much identical to the very first version of these. You still got the very nice soft cushion pad up at the top. It feels like it's a uh, maybe lined with silicone and then you have the adjustable head straps they are clicking adjustable head straps they're not the sliding ones also the ear cups they're circular but when you turn them over 
the cutout is actually oval, which is a better fit for your ear. And then also these ear cups right here are plush. It feels like there's memory foam inside of this. These ear cups do swivel, which seems like 180 degrees completely. So there's no stopping point. So when you do have these on and if you're the type of person that likes to wear them around your neck, you can just either lay them flat or lay them straight up and actually kind of use this like, a, I don't know, like a speaker around your neck if you want to have your music playing and blasting in your ears. If that's something that you're into, I probably won't do that, but that's just a feature that they do have. On the left side right here, you do have your dial, like I said earlier, and this is what controls your active noise cancellation. And then on the right ear cup, you do have another dial which controls the volume. And obviously these are touch services right here. Now on the right cup, you do have your power on button. You have a microphone mute button and that's for calls. So if you do a lot of work in these headphones, take a lot of phone calls, there is a but also you have your USB type C port as well. And then next to that, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. They are a very nice, solid plastic construction headphones. And these matte black ones just look very clean. And you also have the Microsoft badge right here, right above the ear cup on both sides, which is a, a very nice touch. Okay, so I mean, very comfortable headphones barely film on my head. How they compare to other headphones, I think maybe the Sony XM3s were probably a little bit lighter, but I can see myself wearing these all day long. The ear cups are very plush, so it's very soft on my head. And then the clamping force on these headphones is almost non-existent. So I can see myself being able to wear these for a prolonged period of time without getting any ear fatigue. And so that's pretty much it for the construction of these headphones. Oh yeah, one more, one more thing I did notice. I do believe that the slits on the ear cups and then the two holes is the microphone housing for the noise cancellation and also where your mic is for taking phone calls and so yeah that's pretty much it for the whole design and construction of these headphones okay so the first thing you want to do when you are done unboxing these and looking over these headphones in order to have this work flawlessly with your mobile device you want to go and download the surface audio app and it is available in the app store in the google play store once you have that downloaded click on that and then hit connect surface headphones it was already in bluetooth pairing mode so i'm gonna go ahead and hit connect and now it says connect in my bluetooth settings and come back so i go to my bluetooth settings and they should just show up at the bottom and there they go right there so click on surface headphones right there wait till they actually connect they are connected and then in my headphones it says connected to my iphone so now i'm gonna go ahead and hit play sound and then it plays a chime in both ears so i'm gonna say yes i heard it and this is connecting your headphones go ahead and pair okay and then it just gives you the directions on using the dial. So the right one is for volume, like I said before, and you can see it adjusting, and the left one is for noise cancellation. So turning the right one, the dial forward, turns the volume up, and then turning it backwards actually turns the volume down. And then one thing that I do like about having these dials incorporated with the touch surfaces is that I think volume and maybe noise cancellation is something that you'll probably use the most besides the play and pause button. So having that as a very quick feature on here to adjust without having to worry about if you're touching the right spot on the touchpad or if you're not used to touch surfaces or you don't like touch surfaces like me not looking for that certain point on the touchpad you can just quickly reach up and move the volume control which is a very nice thing you're not swiping up or swiping down to try and adjust the volume having these ear dials is a very nice touch and i applaud microsoft for doing that so i'm going to go ahead and hit next and then it runs through it again it says adjust the volume on the right and then it says is just noise canceling on the left. I already did that. And now it says play and pause music by touching the touchpad. Now they show you some tutorial videos, which I'm not going to get into right now. I'm just going to hit done. And then this is the main screen of the app right here. So on the top right, if I hit this plus button, I can connect this mobile device to more headphones or earbuds if I wanted to. Underneath that, you do have the Surface headphone gear icon, which goes into the device settings and it shows the device info, paired devices, equalizer, personalization, and device control. So underneath device info, it tells you what your volume is currently on. If I move that, you can see the volume actually move up and down and then noise cancellation, ambient sound, amplified, low, medium, high. It also shows the battery life, which is at 11 hours. Paired devices, 
You can pair this to multiple devices at once. So you can have like a laptop, a mobile device, and a tablet and have it paired to all three, doing something on the laptop, have your phone ring, and then just pick it up. It'll seamlessly transition from your laptop or your tablet to your mobile device and then vice versa. So that's something that all premium headphones, I do believe should have, but all premium headphones do not offer that feature. So you do have your equalizer right here and then I was in this earlier and what you do have you just have flat classical jazz pop and rock as your presets and then this TL right here is customized one that I set up and then you can delete or rename at the bottom so that's obviously always a nice thing to have inside of an app is an equalizer to adjust the sound to exactly how you want to have it personalization you can change the device name and you also get different languages English Chinese Japanese French English in German and then it has an upgrade need. I don't know what that means, but anyways. And then device controls and underneath device controls, you can touch, you can turn the touch services on or off, allow voice prompts, and then optional diagnostic information that goes back to Microsoft. And then you have your firmware updates. It says update your headphones fast on your PC. This can take over an hour here on your phone. It takes about 10 minutes less hooked up to the USB. About tab, tutorial videos, helps and tips, terms, and privacy factory reset and then remove this device so if i go back to the main screen as you can see it says hi that right there on the left side underneath the headphones is your noise cancellation indicator you have your battery life and then you have your volume dial on which volume settings it's actually on and then at the bottom you do have your tutorial videos right there so if i click that are you sure you want to hide these videos yes and then it just shows you the main screen and if I click on the headphones oh, okay so I don't have to click on that icon right there I guess anywhere in the middle it will take you to the device settings so you don't have to actually click on that word up there so and that's pretty much it for the app it's always nice to have an app incorporated in any headphone or earbud that you are working with and then also it is a nice sound to have the female voice inside of your ear giving you the voice prompts um, this is one of the most human-like voices that I've heard in any headphone slash earbud that's out on the market right now. It actually feels like a real person talking to me and not some robot. It's a, a very nice touch and then just pay attention to little details like that just goes a long way in my book at least. Okay, so the button functions, they're pretty standard on each earbud. I do wish inside the app it will show you exactly what the button functions are, but they're pretty standard when it comes to headphones. One tap on either side will play and pause your music in and answer phone calls. A double tap will go to the next trap. A triple tap will go to the previous track. If you hold down either side for, I believe it's two seconds, that'll activate your voice assistant. I was trying to do that, but it was actually not working as designed. So I don't know if that's something that I'm messing up or maybe if I need to just update these headphones. Okay, so I just got done testing out the sound quality. But before I get into that, I would like to say, I did forget to mention that these headphones do have voice assistant in them and they do play very nice with obviously Microsoft's voice assistant Cortana but you are able to use Siri and other uh, voice assistants as well but maybe this is just me but for the sound quality what I've noticed is that these are for a more balanced sound if you are a bass head and I'm not a bass head myself I do like more balanced sound but I'm not going to turn down extra bass when I can get it but if you are a bass head I do not believe that these are for you. When I was listening to music on here, I did notice that when I was in the EQ and I tried to maximize the bass to see how much these can take, the sound distorted immediately. I was on volume 15, yes, it was turned all the way up. I was just testing out how these can handle sound. So I turn it up to the max, put the lows to the max, and it was just distorting. I don't know if they're designed to handle heavy bass, but when I was testing these out, it wasn't able to take a lot of bass. So I'm thinking that these are just designed mainly for a more balanced sound. Now inside of Equalizer, you're able to go in there and play with the Equalizer or go to your different custom presets like I showed you earlier inside of the app. And you are able to get very good sound out of here. You're able to distinguish between the mid sounds, the high sounds and adjust, play with the levels. And then for me, I had to actually settle on a certain bass level because I wasn't able to push it up to as much as I wanted to. But outside of the bass, you're able to get very good instrument separation and then 
also with the highs get crystal clear highs and you can push the highs up as much as you want and the headphones will be able to take that the only thing is just that the lows weren't able to be able to push all the way up without having sound distort in the headphones i don't know if i was doing something wrong and by no means am i an expert on sound quality i'm just giving you my two cents on how i feel about these there is the auto pause function on here so if you do take these off your ears it'll automatically pause and then one thing I did notice, if you want to have these on your neck just like this, and you still want music to play out, even with this auto pause function on, you can actually bypass the auto pause function and just go ahead and click play again once they're on your neck and they will automatically start playing right here, which is a nice feature. I do like that Microsoft incorporated that inside of these headphones. Call quality was amazing. Just like on the version ones, they brought that same technology over and I had no issues with any type of call quality on here and everything was good as advertised with quality on here. Not a lot of ambient noise was coming in on my phone call. So being able to use these in a loud environment, you would have no problem with that. And then for latency, I didn't experience any latency whatsoever, whether it was on any movie streaming service or YouTube or whatever. At the end of the day, I do believe that Microsoft, like I said earlier, they did a very good job, a very good combination of incorporating touch services with the physical ear dials. I think that is the perfect combination. And I do believe that other other headphone companies, manufacturers should actually try to incorporate something like that just because I'm not a big fan of touch surfaces and I think that having a combination of touch surfaces and physical knobs or dials in this case, it just beats anything out there that's on the market right now. That's all I got for you people. That's everything about these Microsoft Surface headphones version twos. As always, if this is your first time here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I drop my latest tech videos. As always, thanks for stopping by the Tech Love channel. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.